the definition of the uh, adiabatic efficiency is equal to and on top you have pressure 2 over pressure 1 Everything to the power of 1.4 minus 1 over 1.4 When you take that, subtract by 1, in the bottom, you have T2 over T1, take that, subtract by 1, right? In this case, I could have 0 0.95 equal to, our pressure ratio is 15, 1.4 minus 1 over 1.4, minus 1. In the bottom, we have T2 as the final temperature, and T1 to be 300K. Uh, minus 1, right, and then from that I'm able to solve for T2 and plug that into my calculator 0 0.95 and then inside you have 15 uh, and the bottom you have 300 and then I'm going to go ahead and solve for final temperature and you're gonna get uh, 668.78898 Kevin yeah so that's part uh, A part B as for the uh, polytropic efficiency this one you have T2 T final T initial Go to P2 over P1, then 1 over E, gamma minus 1 over gamma, right? We have T2 is 66, 8.7898, divided by T1, which is 300, equal to 15 to the 1 over E, 1.4 minus 1 over 1.4, right? And you plug that into the calculator. Okay, and I'm gonna get. Uh, Efficiency going to be 96.51 percent. That's my efficiency. You box that. You box this as well. Okay. And then for C, uh, we saw for the entropy, right? So a uh, standard uh, air has a CP. Maybe one zero zero four point five June per kilogram K. Then we have the formula for entropy uh, to be CP ln T two over T one minus R ln P two over P one. Here you're gonna have. 1004.5 now and 668.7898 divided by 300 minus 287 and then ln um, and you kind of see me mix uh, freedom unit and a metric unit here but that is okay because you take the ratio anyway right and then it only depend the units gonna only depend on the freedom on the metric unit outside okay so ln um, the pressure ratio is 15 All right gonna use your calculator you're gonna get 28.0845 uh, and then units gonna be June per Program K, so same as CP, and that's going to be delta S. Okay, 
And for D, uh, we calculate the power required. You have m dot. So power required is m dot cp d2 minus c1, which give you uh, m dot is 25, cp is 1004.5, then d2 minus d1 is 668.7898 minus 300. And we get a power value, right? Times six six eight point seven eight nine eight minus three hundred. You're gonna get nine two six one two three three point eight five three watt. Okay. And that's gonna be the uh, final solution for this problem.